What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cast here, and I'm here with Valente. Welcome back to UKW Renegade. As we see Noam Dar and his newest member of the kingdom, JD McDonough, coming out, and we have a big match starting off as we're going to see tag team action as Braun Breaker is going to team with the newly signed UKW competitor in Jaden Parker. While Dar has a chance to face Braun Breaker for the International Championship at Rising Blood. JD and Dar are going to do a little bit of tag team work tonight. See if they can soften up Breaker for Rising Blood. <laughs> Now, Valente, I, I see the whole point for Braun Breaker to introduce UKW's newest SID and Jaden Parker. Parker, a bit of a high, very high-intensity, high-energy superstar. Guy that we could really see make a whole different kind of style into the Cruiserweight division. And yeah, again, and, um... I think it he's ready fit. to introduce him to the world. I think I think it fits the style that Breaker was needing for this tag match as well. Breaker's really more your overall strength. He needed some speed to kind of pair with himself, and I think this is a, I think getting Jaden Parker is a big way to do that. Speaking of the UKW International Champion, here comes the pit bull. Breaker's been basically unstoppable until he ran into a brick wall last week when he lost by countout to J.D. McDonough. J.D. was able to use his cunning Valentine to really get a big win over Breaker. Breaker's only mm -hmm. lost since winning the international championship. So that's really showing the, the whole nother level that J.D. seems to be operating on. So we got a bit of a bit of a mid-card fusion here with Breaker and his rivalry with the Kingdom as of late. So let's get into this. Braun Breaker and JD, Jaden Parker versus JD McDonough and Noam Dar. Parker is going to get the start here against JD. Bell rings and here we go. Parker has been very impressive on the indie circuit. And look at, there's the Cruiserweight Champion, JD, with a massive stomp. Oh, but Parker reflies with a big shot of his own. Oh, but JD nails him quickly with a drop kick. Oh, he was going to go for the forearm, JD. Parker and JD quickly using the advantage to go after each other, but... No, Parker was able to reverse the roll through stop this time. We see the color match of the kingdom. As we still got to get into like the mindset that Noam Dar must be in coming off a World Heavyweight Championship match a couple of weeks ago against Gunther and also bringing in JD McDonough to win the Cruiserweight Championship. He felt like the kingdom might have failed at no escape until you saw JD win the cruiserweight title and it, it really at least gave the kingdom something to feel positive about at the end of the night yeah it was a it was a big play for the kingdom with the jd coming in you Parker. know it wouldn't have been the same night without him like as you mentioned parker really trying to use his advantage to take out both members oh but parker Parker pushed Dar in front of him. And Dar ate the suicide dive. And you see Jordan, Jaden Parker trying to fight off both members of the kingdom. And he's doing a damn good job of it right now. And now here's the tag to the international champion, Breaker. We saw Breaker and JD have a good match last week, Valente. That, like I said, JD would pick up the win of, via count out. Oh, but now we see JD. JD spins him inside. What a shot to Breaker. 
it seems like JD has given a bit of a mean streak here to uh, to the kingdom. Maybe that they had already had, but I, I don't think adding somebody like a JD would be a, is a negative impact for any of the factions here in UKW. And I think the kingdom got a really good pickup. Yeah, go she's adding to the firepower they already have. You still have the two massive mercenaries in the form of the coffees. We haven't really seen Alba fire ever since she lost the crew the way, uh, lost the women's championship. But she's still around. JD now with a couple of shots, and there's that headbutt. That headbutt into a moonsault. Now JD has control after that big headbutt. Oh, he's going to go for it again. This time he catches him. Sorry, and suplex. The big suplex. Now, JD has him. Whips him in the corner. We might see a tag to Noam Dar. And we do. Breaker really struggling right now. And a double shoulder block by the Kingdom. We've said before that the joint manipulation is something that Dar has always really strived in. And we see him immediately going for that volunteer. Maybe trying to weaken up Breaker for their match in less than two weeks. Yeah, you've seen JD take the, the, a bit of the match to start. Just trying to get Breaker as Double Breaker as fires back quickly with a lariat. Was gonna go for another one. What a Spanish fly! A standing Spanish fly right off to Braun Breaker, and continuing to go after that well, that arm ligament. Dar, no, poking at the pit bull. Dar, oh no. Dar got caught, headbutt by Breaker. Breaker, since Dar in, Breaker. Since Dar in again, oh my goodness. Breaker with an overhead, belly to belly. Dar trying to hit him with a couple of forearm shots. Breaker responds, no, went for a shoulder block. And there, Breaker with another one. Knocks off JD, and we see it. Breaker really come to life a bit. Oh, a big. Going right after. No, Dar! Breaker was going after JD on the outside. Breaker and Dar fighting on the outside. Oh, Parker. These two are absolutely tearing each other apart. These four crossbody inside the ring. Inside. Oh, but no. Dar nails the drop kick. And Dar back on the advantage. We saw the teams really starting to mesh together there in that that uh, combination's got a sickle! Spins Breaker all the way around! Oh my god! And Breaker might be out! My, uh, what a boot! Right in the face of Breaker, right in the... Right in front of Parker, and Parker begging for a tag. Oh, Parker, Parker's distraction on Breaker. Breaker was able to play a bit of advantage. These two going at each other. The kip up by Breaker. Okay, these two have went, and you see Breaker really try to inflict some damage on both men. He, he really... Is working a bit at a disadvantage. Takes out JD. Boba Dar. Because Parker's still very much a, a, a young superstar. 
Oh my god! Parker! Parker grabbed on and whipped him! Now going after him! Going after JD! Breaker! With a shot! Another one! JD's out on the outside after the DDT! Parker's taking care of JD on the outside! Sit down! Setting up! Possibly for the spear! But now goes with the lariat instead! Door rolls out! And Breaker and Parker hold the ring! I've, I've, I've been very impressed so far, Volente, with Jordan Parker. He's been very opportunistic and has came right at Dar. But now that might play to his different advantage. No, moves out of the way, these two. Up to the second rope. Dar. Oh, kicks him off. Blockbuster! What a blockbuster! Here's the tag to JD. JD rolls through. Parker with the counter. Parker with the moonsault. Parker in a good position. Pop forearm. Gets him up. Pops him. No. Now some forearms from JD. JD's got him up. JD. Irish call. Into the cover, nails to kick out by Parker. Parker kicked out of the Irish call. No, counter, a shot to the sternum. Parker, big lariat in the corner. Parker's got JD dead set. There's an elbow. There's the tag, the breaker. Breaker sees his opportunity. Breaker went for the spear, countered by JD. Breaker with a lariat. Oh man, we might be seeing it. Lining it up, Spear! Takes out Dar! Breaker, Dar's down! Attack to Parker! Parker is gonna take advantage! Kick, Parker! Martinez! Breaker holds the ring! And Jordan Park, Jaden Parker with a massive victory! Give the assistance to the Internationals champion, Braun Breaker! But Jaden Parker just pinned the Cruiserweight champion! That is massive for your debut, Valentine! And Whitaker have decided that they will be putting their tag team titles on the line at Rising Blood. But Tristan Sidney chose that these would be the two to take on Strucker and Whitaker. Team Abbott gained victory at War Games. Abbott gets a world title shot from it. Was well, a bit of a consummation prize for Roach and Genocide. They are now having an opportunity to become the number one contenders for the world tag team titles. So big things could be happening here. It all depends on how things go. But Genocide has a big chance to become number one contender. It's on his shoulders. Right into the entrance of the World Tag Team Champions.
Jacob Whitaker and Chris Strucker. Let's get right into this. Here we go. Gabriel Genocide. Strucker. Time is now. Bell rings and Strucker goes right after Genocide. Genocide trying to bob and weave a bit. Knows that he's got a massive lunatic to deal with in Strucker. But, but now he's bobbing and weaving doing that game plan trying to tire Strucker out. Misses the lariat. Genocide pops off the rope. Big knee! He might be seeing his opportunity. Closing right in early. He's got him. B. No. Strucker moves out of the way. Bad a big knee of his own. Genocide was going to go for a knee trifecta. This is the drop kick. Genocide finds that, but he gets caught with an uppercut. These two have been very high paced early. Was going for a detonation kick. Strucker was able to counter. And Strucker nails the suplex. These two have a bit of a storied history themselves. What is this? Oh my god! A bit of a cross-legged brain buster. And Strucker is right in control. Throws him off again. Off the ropes with a forearm. We saw, like like I said in the introduction, Valentin, Team Abbott was successful at War Games, and I think uh, mm -hmm. I think that really bothered Strucker. As we see, Strucker has came out with a whole new array of fire. He's really came in, just ready to go, fully at a hundred percent. Big knee and a kick to the back of the head. Right into the cover by Genocide. Genocide early. Kick out by Strucker. I was going to go again for that those educated kicks. But an uppercut. And this is what I'm talking about. Strucker just beating the hell out of Genocide. Countered though by Gabriel. And that man on the outside right there, Shane Roach, is really the difference maker as far as this tag team title match is going to be. We know Abbott and Genocide really didn't get along. But no, 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 Strucker, there might not be a tag team title match. There's the silence. Strucker has Genocide locked in the silence. Genocide, oh, clubbing blow right to the forehead. Trying to recover. Big knee. Roll through. Hits him. Nails him directly. Here we go. Rolls him through. Overhead. Tope. He's got him. No. Oh, Genocide was able to catch the feet before Strucker did the suicide dive and sends him in. We've really seen Genocide and Roach kind of build up a bit more chemistry since Roach came back. Throwing a big knee in the corner. And I think it's really been very beneficial for Genocide to get back into that picture for the championship since he came back. There's the big knee again. Kick to the back of the head. I don't know how you feel about it, Valente, but I feel like the new relationship with Roach has really helped Genocide get right back in that championship picture. Diving foot stop countered. Yeah, it definitely has, but I'm, I'm not sure if it's really, you know, like a, like a, uh, you scratch my back, I scratch your situation, or, you know, something, something there is, the connection's like real, genuine, but I don't know, it just seems like they want to take the unknown down as of right now. Here we go. We're going to see another tope. Right on. 
Oh no! Genocide messed up on! No! Kick! Kick to the midsection! God's last gift! One! Two! Three! Strucker had Genocide beat! Into the cover! One! Two! And a kick out! Gabriel! Kicked out after the referee! Genocide! Roll through! Referee one! Two! Kick out! Oh my goodness! Strucker's down! Super kick to Whitaker! Rolls through! East! River Downs! Count! Two! Three! The referees, the, the miscommunication between the referee and the entire match just granted Shay Roach and Genocide a world title match. We saw Genocide accidentally rebound off and hit the referee. Referee a bit of a bad situation, bad, a bit of bad placement there. And, and it, it seemed to absolutely play dividends for Genocide and Roach. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're seeing Ludwig Kaiser. As he's going to be the man that's going to be sent to face Rogue Abbott first. Abbott has to beat both members of Imperium to be able to pick the match stipulation. But if he doesn't, Gunther is able to pick the match stipulation. So this is a major, major event as Kaiser could really, really gain a lot of favor in form with the Reign General. Because if Gunther's able to pick the stipulation, that gives him full momentum and advantage heading into Rising Blood. Again, best case scenario for Rogue is he beats Ludwig here and... That's one less Imperium member he probably has to worry about. And that's another that's another thing, uh, another stipulation that we I got forgot to mention. Every member that Rogue beats isn't gonna be allowed at ringside at Rising Blood. So if Rogue's able to knock off both members of Imperium, he walks into Rising Blood all alone against Gunther one on one. No Roach. No Genocide, no Kaiser, no Vinci. One-on-one -on -one for the World Heavyweight Championship. This is a big, big match. Here we go. Right in front. Oh, but no! Oh, Kaiser just got pumped. Just got right... Hit right with that kick, and now again have it right after Kaiser. Oh, Kaiser catches that kick, though. Floats him through. Goes for the Ukaiser uppercut. Oh, but he, do he dodges that knee from Abbott. Kaiser goes through with a uh, clothesline. Goes for the super kick. These two going back and forth. And there's Abbott. Abbott's going to use it to his advantage. What a super kick. Oh, big shot. Kaiser with a counter. Oh, and he nails that jumping knee. And we see Abbott full of momentum, really filling himself after winning war games. Oh, he's going to go. He's going to turn him up. Reverse, go to sleep. Spins him inside. Yokoza shot. What an uppercut. Like I said, Kaiser could really gain a lot of favor in uh, in the world of the Ring General if he's able to knock off Rogue and give Gunther the ability to pick the match stipulation. 
Oh, goes for that clothesline. Abbott moves out of the way. Rogue went for that knee once again. Oh, my God! Kaiser using that outside ring barricade to his advantage. Taking out the smaller Abbott and now has full advantage. Rolls Abbott in. Abbott not in a good way uppercut. Right into the cover on Rogue. Counts. Oh, but an early kick out by Abbott. Once again off the ropes. Go, oh, but what a knee. Here comes Abbott. Big knee. Rising Blood is really stacking up to be a, a really good pay-per-view. As we've just got confirmation that Jaden Parker, after pinning the Cruiserweight Champion, will be having a Cruiserweight Championship match at Rising Blood. Wow. So that, that is a major, major advancement for the young superstar power bomb. Flips him inside. Kagori knee. Abbott has him up. Goes. TKO. TKO on Kaiser. Abbott. Daring. Kaiser to bring it. Here we go. Spins him inside with a cutter. Into the cover. Rogue dominates Kaiser. What a win. Boy, what is this? Kaiser offering a bit of a peace offering from the ring general. A message. Six.